Welcome back everybody and welcome back to the channel and another episode of Booster 2000. Hit subscribe! <laughs> If you remember the last video, we went up to RS Coombe in Castle Coombe and it absolutely chucked down. And the car tells the tale, it's stinking. Yep, look at that. Yuck. So, luckily, oh, it's dripping in a ceramic coating. So, a little power wash on the old catcher and I will be like brand spanking new. Anyhow, something for me has been bugging me loads and loads since I've done the engine conversion. Look, you, if you follow the channel, you would have seen I've had many variants and different colours and different styles of under the bonnet or under the hood, as they say in America. Um, I've gone for black, I've had the blue, I've had a white female, I've had the Cosworth cam cover, and now I've got my own Booster 2000, thanks to Dave Lee at XYZ. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm babbling on a bit, so let me show you. So yeah, so there we are, the current setup. Um, Group A cause you felt there and all that. So I've been in touch with a guy about these. Um, make me a stainless one of these and a stainless one of these and give me a discount for the channel. And I'm on the fence of it. I really want to do it. But I'm a bit like, mm. I tried ordering a Fiesta T3 um, hot one um, in chrome to match this and other bits and pieces. Um, talks about one of them. I've also looked in again, you just keep these black, get an alloy one of these, and an alloy or stainless one of these, I get on my Fiesta RS Turbo. But yeah, so the big one for me is this. And look, no matter what happens, it's been bubbling and it's crap. So I've gone out and got myself a new one, and I've got myself a paint. And the paint in question, can withstand up to like 800 degrees, it's a 1K can paint, okay? I could have added a gun, but for the sake of getting like 250 mils of a paint, it's a lot of work. Um, it's direct to metal paint, so thank you to KD Resort now in IPS. Okay, so don't forget to IPS, Independent Paint Supplies in Swansea, everywhere in South Wales or the broader Wales now. Hit them up, you know, KD from a body shop. Uh, yeah, so I've gone out and got myself a new rocker cover. Um, I was going to get a powder coat there, I've been speaking to the powder coat boys, and they were like, yeah, it's fine, they'll get up to 89 degrees. This car gets hot in the front of the turbo. And I don't want the issue again, so do you know what? For the sake of what I can, it's cost me over this paint. I'm not really sure what colour I want to go, and I'm not going to tell you yet. Um, let's uh, let's paint it, shall we? And if all goes wrong, we'll change the colour, or we'll get a powder coated. Also seeing Jason's car in the last video of the rep, his gearbox is nice and clean. Mine used to be like that, look how dirty it is now. He'd had all that powder coated too. I think what I'm going to have to do is get this cleaned up um because that is bugging me it looks bogging and we still get to paint the engine bay to match the chassis color so where we have frozen white we rock in diamond white part of me is thinking do i go match this to the color of a rock and cover here just to make it different a bit like a jack boys remember these these are custom one off too by dave lee xyz Coswish. These are a forged carbon and they look really cool. Big shout out, they are excellent. So yeah, let's uh, let's have a look at this rocker cover and uh, let's sort it out. So, super duper eBay purchase. There we are. Nice rocker cover in good condition. I am gonna sand this back back here with an 80 and a DA and fair this off so it doesn't catch. You can see this one's been catching as well. That's why on the R2000, they have that lump on the bonnet. Um, but yeah, it's good, it's never been painted. It's good inside, pretty mint, huh? I think it's a good price, the gasket's good on here too. But I've got myself a brand spanking new gasket. It doesn't come with the inserts in here, so I'm gonna have to use them off my car, which is a bit unfortunate, because they should be they're probably black, and the rubbers ain't the great on them. But yeah, DA is down 80, get it sprayed in something like, a, I don't know, like a fallout. Scotch it up and let's get this painted. Look back, it's probably relevant to mention this is where they rub. So yeah, it's only my leave this rub through. And you can see obviously I've got a light shave in underneath there, which doesn't affect the vent from the top. So look, if you wouldn't know, it seems to be atrocious have been cut. 
Okay, spanking away D on the in dash edge A. And we're just gently going to take some down by her. So hopefully this edge being tapered down should stop it from rubbing. Next job, let's spray some stuff on here to loosen up all this dirt, shall we? Didn't use this because, well, citrus pretty cleaner and this was from my TikTok shop, £2.50 deal or £2.20, wherever it was. Leave that on for five minutes. So using my Halfwoods Finest Detailing Brush right now. Just loosen up all this crap. And we'll probably give her a power wash and then a nice scotch off with some panel wipe and hopefully lay some paint in here if it's not gonna rain. All hopefully, probably won't happen. We'll soon see. And there's a little apprentice coming to have a view. There she is, learning. Okay, so hopefully most of this has been aggravated and starting to lift. Looks really oily and dirty. I'm gonna spray over a bit of snow foam now, aggravate it a bit more, and then give it a high, posh, high pressure power wash. And then hopefully it's ready for a scotch. Also, I wanna throw this out there. Look how stayed on that, okay? And a tire wearing outside. And this happening so i took a car for tracking God, it's close isn't it took a car for tracking a few months ago new tire on it came back cows all over the place went back in to have a tracking redone it's never driven very nice and ever since this is the problem so yeah look at it so when you go into a round or a corner or something like that it's just towing everywhere not happy about that so get some new tracking done on it and a nice new tire cheers for that Okay, so some bleeding wheels. Spray this one. Okay. You can already see it's aggravating lifting it all up. Let's give it two minutes on it. Then we'll power wash it. Whilst we are it. So that's come out nice and tidy, tender as bare it was. Give her a bit of a scotch now and a tea grease and a power wipe and we're laughing. Okay, so next is bats being wiped off and cleaned with microfiber. Um, and you get some panel wipe on here now, some degreaser, and then leave that dry off and start dusting some of his paint on lightly. Okay, so we're nice and clean, all degreased, taped off. Really important, don't get paint in there because you don't want it going in with your oil. Um, let's shake this can. Okay, so we use an aerosol expert, which is IPS's own variance of paint. We are using a RAL color, it's a green, and it is 0073 GRE. It's like a neon yellow. So yeah, this is quite thin paint. It's gonna go on in lots of coats. So you're just gonna dust this on. There are the first coat on, and if anything like me, you're probably thinking, what the hell am I doing? Trust the process and I hope it comes out all right. Session between paint drying with my gym partner. Okay, so this looked absolutely amazing just now, minus the fact that flies are under it. Um, it is one hell of a bright colour. The paint is really nice, um, it's nice and thick. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave these flies on it and polish them out. Bloody flies. Fuck's sakes. Assholes. Now yeah, we're deflied, we're going to leave that dry. Let's get this cam cover off the car. Okay, so 5 mil and 10 mil. Get these bad boys out. Use a socket on these, though. 
Right, let's whip out the old trusty Halfords Advance. So we'll have this bad boy and we will have a 10 mil. Oh, it's gonna be fun now trying to find one. Is that a 10? That will do nicely. Could do the long one too. Okay, we're gonna quickly whip off, oh gosh, didn't have to do anything with these. The cam belt and the spark plug coil pack, whatever you want to call it, covers. These are loose anyway. A lot of people say you shouldn't mix um, stainless steel with the alloy head. So apparently like they rust at different um, different grades. So let's quickly fly this off. Okay, so as well as wearing like white and cream, what I did I am, and it's a bit oily but let's get this off. So next job. Um, unplug the coil packs and stuff like that, and let's take these plugs out. So to take coil packs off, it is a T30. Let's gently crack these all off. They're not tight anyway. Unplug that off there. Obviously, I know some daft, but fire and order is important when you go back on. It's not like a car with four leads, obviously these run coil packs, but it is easy easy to mix them up. It has a last note, so okay, so just unplug these. So we've got one bank there, it's got over one side. When you record, then it's always handy because you can play it back and you can see how you've done it. Um, okay, so the middle bank is up there. And also a big shout out, thank you to Chelsea, because she's given me the time to do this whilst she's looking after Hope. Right, so next job, where do I put it? Oh, that's doomed and gloom down there. My spark plug spanner. I'll be right back. Okay, so a spark, a spark plug spanner. This is a 16 mil and an extension bar. Let's get these off. I'm not going to uh, bore you with this. I'm just going to fly these off quickly. Okay, so spark plugs are nice. Don't know if you can see on there. It's a bit difficult. Not lean and they're not burnt. Let's get them back in because we don't actually have to take these off. I just wanted to check. Okay, so next job onto these um, 10 mil rocker cover bolts. And I don't know when all that. Oh, gosh. Oh! Do you want to snap these? Okay, so there's a heap of them, but I gotta get off and fly along these quickly. There's no point doing time maps or anything. You get the kind of just now. Okay, so one thing I did do, everyone, right? I did get my engine a little bit hot to get these out because it'll just naturally make it easier. Um, God, they were tight than I imagined. Didn't quite expect them to be as tight as they were going to be. Right, so I just cracked them all off. I have to read up or work out if it was a tightening or fastening sequence and to see if um, there's a torque set in. One thing I have noticed though, looking around now, it looks like it's a bit of instant gasket being used. That stuff's like sac sacrifice edges, or whatever they say. Also I've noticed that when I put my aftermarket coil pack cover on, it um, doesn't have a gasket. I always didn't mean to go back and put a bit of sealer around the edge and make a pretend gasket. And so when I take it on and off every time, it will be sealed. That is something I do need to do because I'll flip the camera around now and show you with a little bit of oil which is coming out of the top breather. I know a lot of people take those breathers out and what they do is they weld it up and put like an ANC fitting on and go straight to a catch can. Maybe that is something I should have done. Um, I don't know, maybe next time. So look, there's nothing to say, I've got a spare rocker cover now so I can still do that and get a powder coat in. This could be a, a temporary fix, not temporary fix, eh? temporary one we'll soon see but yeah i've still got the 10 mil nuts to get off the four on the side but then i pretty much got everything off also i know there's on the cam cover i've got it doesn't have the like the inserts so i'm hoping that these ones will pop out and i'll be able to use them again okay let's get on to these nuts okay to get the four of the nuts you need a deeper 10 mil socket so i don't want to crack these either Oh my gosh, anxiety setting in. Let's uh, see if we can hear this crack. That's tight, isn't it? 
Seems an awful, awfully tight for a rocker cover. Okay, let's crack this off. I can, they work for guides, these are. I'm gonna make sure I don't lose these nuts now. What I did, I painted the last one with uh, VHT paint, whatever it's called, whilst the um, cover was on. So the nuts have actually like, well, they've been painted up now, so there's a bit of a seal around them. Right. Oh, yeah, go on. Right, and you get the other two off, and I'll see you on the other side. So that's all the bolts out, and this is the oil that I mentioned, um, which has been blowing out of there. And water gets down here as well through the vents. Let's get this off, because I need that. Uh, let's get this cam cover off. Oopie doke, so oh, nice and simple. Let's lift this up over this corner. Oh gosh, this gasket wasn't really doing its job very well looking at that. Let's have a look now, shall we? But yeah. He says no swarf and no crap in the engine bay. Let's put that down and flip it around. Okay, so looks like a lot of oil around the edge. We need to clean all this up around here. Get a bit of a scotch on it, make sure nothing goes in the bay. Looks like it was sealer on here before. Look at that. See the joins? Um, it was leaking, obviously, out of the rocker cover. Good. So that will stop the leakage down there, which I thought it had a leak anyway. We'll get a better job of fitting it back on. But it doesn't seem to be any junk and crap and swarf anywhere. Um, all looking healthy as it should do. So, yeah. Okay, so, so far, we've had a quick wipe. But you can see this edge. Clean it up. This is scotching back or cleaning because it's definitely had some form of gasket sealer on it. Hence the fact it's weeping down the edges and on the corners. Um, that was no good. So hopefully that does now fix the little oil leak they had. Because it wasn't using oil. Um, but yeah, you can see all the way around the perimeter of the edge, it's black. Let's take a quick look under here. Let's have a look, shall we? really see anything on it in terms of gasket sealer um but maybe they've just put a little bit on it when they put it in or maybe the heat of this has just created that but looking on the edge there's definitely got yeah there you are look hold on there's gasket sealer right by there so yeah it did have gasket sealer on it okay so we need to get out as well these now so i'll push this one out and let's have a look because I've never done this before. And we'll pull it up this side. Let's get all these out. Okay, so the seal is out for the oil, uh, the oil return, or the valve at the top, whatever you call it, the oil pressure thing, or oil breather, that's it. These small little collets for the washers. Push the screwdriver down and pop them out. You've got the larger for the insides. And you've got the smaller then for the cam belt side, which go around these four. Um, and we have cleaned up the area in readiness to put the um, new gasket on. Got a bit of oil on the manifold, so it's going to smoke. A lovely jubbly. Uh, yeah, it's much better now. And we just got to wait for that paint to dry. And hopefully get us back on the car tomorrow and get it running. And most importantly, let's hope we can bake a paint and bubble and blow it off. Because that'll pee me right off. And I don't even know if the colour's going to go, to be honest, but... It's Larry, just like me. Hours later. Okay, so as I can't wait, um, I've got a quick look now to see how it is. Make sure it's not reacting, it's dry. Um, put this on and put this on. And you know what? It is looking pretty goddamn good. I put the seal in too. Um, I'm not going to take it over to the car yet. So I'm going to wait now until tomorrow to it's cured properly. Get the new seal on it. Get the insert in and get this fitted on the car. Three days later. Okay, so as I can't wait, um, I've got a quick look now to see how it is, make sure it's not reacting, it's dry. Um, put this on and put this on. And you know what? It is looking pretty goddamn good. I put the seal in too. Um, I'm not going to take it over to the car yet, so I'm looking to wait now until tomorrow to it's cured properly. Get the new seal on it, get the insert in, and get this fitted on the car. There we go, we got my spanking new gasket. Ready for when I come home from work today to fit to this. We've had no reactions. Nice. 
happy with that. And I'll quick look at it next to my car right now. Oh yeah, that's gonna upset some people. One eternity later. Okay, so it's the evening of the day after. What a bloody nightmare. So I flipped the rock cover over and one minute the corners fell out. So I've had to not only search for them, but tape them down. Because you kind of need them in to push the gasket through. Anyhow, I'm going to go like that and hopefully they will be fitted to the car. Okay, so as it stands at the moment, I've dropped this on. I've lined all these up now and put some guides through and get my bolts into here. And obviously, uh, these ones on the nuts and start dropping them down. I'm really happy with how it looks. Um, it's difficult in the light at the minute. It is a slightly different colour to this. I will do this for the same colour. That's the colour I'm going to go for, I think. Uh, maybe water pump that colour to the arm and stuff for the clutch and all that kind of stuff. And clean this gearbox up. But yeah, I'm liking it so far. Might be different. Might not be liked. But I'm not going to be boring and be different. Okay, so we've got the car outside and we've got the car tested. And uh, it has started up. Mmm, it is a very different colour to that, but the camera is not picking up the brightness. So yeah, I'm happy though. Nothing leaking. Nothing leaking around here yet. Okay, so yeah, it is different. It's quite leery. So, I was going to comb this, but I might just go for a comb cap here, like you said. Comb cap here. I would like a chrome two, three piece on here. Um, again, chrome down, sorry. Um, yellow arm, clean the gearbox up, clean the engine bay, get this painted, maybe even colour code this with a rock cover. Colour code this with a rock cover. Um, there we go. What's your thoughts, everyone? Okay, so car's back in the garage. It was parked here. There is no oil spots. Don't be fooled. This is just water that's probably come up the side skirt or something since it's been parked up. Um, yeah, I'm happy with it. I am happy. It's different, okay? Um, it's probably, it, the problem is it doesn't reflect the colour on camera because that's like luminous. This is a really, really bright green. It's nice. Um, let's just hope it doesn't um, blister up and stuff. But yeah, when I get the other stuff on it now, like if I change this up, mix up, get this off. That's got to go. That's got to go. All the chap stuff's got to go. Um, and yeah, happy days. Winning. No end of here, okay? It's been a long two days. Gosh, I'm going to stay in my hair. I'm exhausted. Um, had loads going on. So, I kept a car on the weekend. Hopefully, get to enjoy it. And I'll let you know how it's going if it, uh, if it deters the heat. Um, I want to do more chrome stuff in the engine bay. Um, I ordered a hot, didn't I, T3 Fiat size turbo style heat shield from South Performance or something on eBay through Auto Specialist, but they took my money and then refunded it because it was out of stock. Pissed me off. A subscriber has said he does have bits for me, which is absolutely amazing. Um, and if he doesn't come through with a pass because he chooses to use them, I'll then have a look at an avenue again, some of us. But anyhow, hit like, hit sub, and until next time, I'll see you soon. Thank you. Okay, so playing the video back, it bugged me a little bit because the light just outside didn't do any justice. So let's have a play under this. Oh yeah, that's it, it's way brighter, isn't it? So yeah, look, I'm gonna paint this the same color as I said, but yeah, I'm way happier with it now. It's just that trick on the eye, isn't it? So yeah, um, what's your thoughts? You probably won't like it. I do. I really like it. Enjoy. Lastly, you can see where it clears and it should not rub anymore. And that's pushing the bonnet right down. Happy with that?